Draw the transformed graph. Write the transformation as both an equation and a mapping. In part A, the graph of f of x is horizontally stretched by a factor of 1 over 2. Stretch the graph horizontally about the y-axis by a factor of 1 over 2. The equation of the transformation is y equals f of 2x. Recall that the reciprocal of the horizontal stretch factor goes inside the function. A transformation mapping is an alternative way to represent a transformation. Transformation mappings use a what-you-see-is-what-you-get approach to representing a transformation. The mapping for this transformation is shown. In words, this says, for every point, multiply the x value by one half and leave the y value unchanged. In part b, the graph of f of x is horizontally translated six units left. Move the graph six units left. The equation of the transformation is y equals f of x plus 6. In a horizontal translation, the motion of the graph is opposite the sign. The mapping for this transformation is shown. In words, this says, for every point, subtract 6 from the x value and leave the y value unchanged. Remember, in a mapping, what you see is what you get. In part c, the graph of f of x is vertically translated four units down. Move the graph four units down. The transformation equation is y equals f of x minus 4. The mapping is shown. In words, this says, Leave the x values unchanged and subtract 4 from the y values. In part d, the graph of f of x is reflected in the x axis. Reflect the graph about the x axis. The transformation equation is y equals negative f of x. The mapping is shown. In words, this says for each point, leave the x value unchanged but multiply the y value by negative 1.